Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Recently, I received an email from someone said they noticed in my videos when I'm in grid view that my grid cells look different than theirs. Mine have a lot more info on them. And they were asking me how I did it. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how it's done. In Lightroom, you have a lot of control over the information that is displayed in these grids. Now, if you're new to Lightroom, we're in the library module and we're in grid view. You could just hit the G key on your keyboard and it will quickly jump you over to grid view. Now, if you just want to change the info in here very quickly, hit the J key on your keyboard. The J key will toggle you between the different grid views. Uh, when you hit the J key once from where I was, I'm now showing no information whatsoever. If I hit the J key again, I'm showing the flags. Each grid has a number and it's showing the name of the file and it's showing the badges. Uh, these are these little square things in the corner indicating whether or not I process the image, whether I crop the image and so on. And if I hit the J key again, I'll be into the view that I had up a second ago, this enhanced grid view. Now, you have a lot of control over what's shown here. Uh, when you're in this enhanced grid view, if you wanted to change something, like you don't need the size here, just click on where it has the size and a little menu pops up and you see it has crop dimensions right now. Well, I could change this, I don't know, to anything I want. I could change it to... Um, I don't know, exposure and ISO. So the exposure and ISO is now there on every single grid if I wanted to, and then I could go back to crop dimensions. And I could do that on any of these four uh, like attributes in the top of the image. So I could click on, let's say, the name, and I could change that. I could click on the type of file. I could change that, and so on. Now, if you really want to delve into this a lot deeper, Go up to View, and then down to Grid View Style. Now, right now, I'm in the Expanded Cells view. If I go to the Compact Cells view, that's back here. That's like when we're hitting the J key, right? Toggling between these three. Well, you could do even more. Uh, if you want to edit uh, a lot more information, go up to View and go to View Options. You can see that has a keyboard shortcut of Command-J on my Mac. On your PC, it would be Control-J. And you could bring that up, and you bring up this uh, Library View Options menu or dialog box. So you can see at the very top, it says Grid View Extras. We could click that off so that we're not showing anything. I could click that back on, and we're showing Expanded Cells. I could go back to Compact Cells. Um, show clickable items on mouse over only. So if there's anything clickable, most often, I'm going to close this down just so you see, um, it's this little circle so that we could uh, send that into a quick collection or a targeted collection. You can see how that circle only appears when I hover over the image. And if I go over the next image, it disappears on the previous image and appears on that image. Now I'll go back to this. Tint grid cells with label colors. You could see that I gave this a label or a color, and I could specify how dark or how light I want those colors. There. Show image info tooltips. Tooltips is when you hover over one of the grid cells. I'll close that again, and I'll just hover there and see if it pops up. There you go. See it popped up. It has the name, the exposure information, and the lens information as well. So that's a tool tip whenever you hover over anything. And I won't go over everything here, but you could see that we have flags, thumbnail badges, uh, all these different things that we could change. The header labels at the top uh, are here, those four items. You could, again, just click on those directly to change those if you want as well. So you could experiment in here a little bit. Now you could see there's something, there's a, a tab here, loop view. And when I click on that, we'll jump immediately into loop view. And what this is talking about, I'll move this over here, is this information 
that is at the top. Uh, typically, you may know that you just hit the I key on your keyboard and you would toggle uh, this information up here. Uh, right now, it's showing the file name, exposure info, and the focal length that was shot at. If I hit the I key, it will go, disappear completely. Hit the I key again, it's showing the file name, the uh, date and time it was taken, and the uh, size of the image. And then I hit the I key again, and I'm back to where I began. Now, in the loop view, you could control this info completely. For the Info 2 screen, which is the screen we have now, uh, that's controlled down here. And it has file name, whatever. But I could go on that drop down and I could put anything I want there. If I just want, uh, let's say, the file extension there, I could do that. And you could see it's just saying it's a TIFF file because it was a uh, panorama. But you could see that you could change that. Uh, information for any of these three lines right here for the info 2 for the info 1 which had the capture date and time and the crop dimensions I could change that as well um, when you're uh, loading or rendering photos to show a message that's uh, telling you you know when you're doing those things that it's doing something uh, show frame number when it's displaying video time that's for a video and we're not doing that of course and play HD video at draft quality. So that's for videos there. So you can see that we have a lot of control over all this information that's shown in loop view, as well as the information that is shown in grid view. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.